In this video, we will try to produce output in JSON format using Spring AI. So there are particularly two ways to produce output in the JSON format. One is the prompt engineering and one is using the output parser in Spring AI. The one problem what we have with the prompt engineering, even though the final output is going to be in the JSON format, it's not going to be true JSON. It's still going to be text format only and we will show you how it's going to look like. And the second option is output parser. So Spring AI also comes with the output parser and in output parser, we do have the bean output parser and it will help you to map the output in the true json format so let's see like how to do it so we will first cover the prompt engineering part if you'd like to know how to get started with the spring ai and how to set it up on your local then please then follow the video in the description you will get the information like what dependency you have to include and how to set it up where exactly you need to pass the open ai key you will get all those details in that video here we are going to focus on producing the json output i will just give you an overview if you had followed our previous video then you would aware of all these folders and services which we have created so in the last video we had created one method over here uh, which is get books and under this actually we were relying on a spring ai to generate a response to the json format just based on the prompt engineering so here you could see like we have declared the get books method and in that method we are passing two variables one is category and year so under this we are passing this prompt message using this prompt template so you can see like i'm asking to give me the book information along with category book year review author and summary and the input for this prompt is going to be category and year as we are using two variables over here so i am just passing these values using prompt template dot add method and here i'm passing the category and year for year yeah, these are the variables category and year and for this actually we are passing a values from here so while invoking this method we have to pass this two input variables and it will map those values accordingly at the last actually we are just using the ai dot generate method and under this we are having the prompt template dot create it's going to give us a response using that response actually we are just calling get generation got get text method all this we have already covered in the last video so i'm just giving an overview my focus in this video is to differentiate between the json output what we are getting from the prompt engineering and what we are going to get from the bean output part sir so let's try to call this particular get books method we have defined a controller for this so here you can see this is the books endpoint and we're just passing two variables category and year and after that actually we are invoking this service so let's try to run this method and see like what response we are getting because if you go to this service what we are asking in our prompt engineering we are just saying okay please provide the details in the json format containing this information so we are relying on prompt engineering to produce that output for us so first i will try to run this particular endpoint books so first of all let me just start service from here okay so it's running now it got started now actually i can go to my postman and first we are trying to call this particular endpoint as we have to pass two input variables so i'm using category and year over here category i'm passing as history and year 2023 let me try to run this and you can see the layout is in the json format so we have got this output there is a category book name year review author and summary as we wanted but if you notice this output here is coming as text the layout is in the json format but it's not a true json output it's still coming as text as we can see over here it's coming in the text format and what i need to do like i have to click on this json if i want this to be converted into json so that's why i'm saying like when we are going with the prompt engineering it's not giving us in the true json the layout is going to be in the key value format but the final outcome is still text this is the default output that what we are getting right but what if you wanted to get a true json so in that case what exactly we need to do we need to write another service for this here you can see we have created another method get books in json everything else is going to be same so first thing like i have declared this bean output parser so if you see this bean output parser would help us to create output in the true json and how it's going to do that because we are mapping it to our dto over here what i did over here i have just defined a book details and you can see like instead of creating a class i have created a record and under that record i am just using all the fields which i want in the output so there is a string category book year review author and summary i have created this record and after that like if you go to ai service you can see like i'm just mapping it into this so here we do have the book details that we have to define and here you can see like we are passing this book details dot class to map it to so the output whatever is going to come from this prompt it's going to map it to this particular dto 
everything else is same but i have removed just one line because here i am not asking this to provide the detail in the json format so i'm just saying the response should be containing this information category book year review author and summary and then the format that's it and the format is something that we are going to define so first thing uh, for the variables we have to define this category and year but after that for format i'm relying on this book b in output parcel dot get format so here we do have a method called dot get format and here you can see like we have also defined this format variable earlier actually we had only two variables category and year but here we have the category and year and the format which we are defining so we are just passing as a variable and to set that value we are relying on this book b in output parser so here we do have a method of dot get format so that that's what we have been using over here so it will fill up all this input variable thing and after that like we have to set the output parser so this is the additional method that we are using over here from template dot set output parser and we are just passing this book b in output parser which we have defined over here once this is set it means like we have defined our format and after that like we just have to rely on the same method that we have been using earlier ai client dot generate what we have used over here and after that like once you get a response then you have to get get generation got get text so here we are storing everything into this variable so response dot get generation got get text only wrapper we are defining over here like because we have to parse this output in the given format so we are using this big book bean output parser dot parts so this is what actually we have to do to map the output in the given format so first we have to define this bean output parser then we have to set up a format using this bean output parser dot get format after that actually after that one additional method that we are using is to set output parser for this prom template that is again going to be this bean output parser and at the last we have to wrap our output and we have to use the parse method so this is what we have done over here and after that actually we have created an endpoint for that so i have just used this books in json and you can see like i'm passing the category and year over here same what we are passing in the earlier method and after that like we can just go in and try to run this so instead of books i am just going to have books in json and we'll try to invoke this endpoint and you can see in this case right by default output is coming in json so i don't have to convert it into json the by default output in the json with the accurate values what we have seen earlier so i will put this code link in the description you can go over the code and play with this yeah so that's all for this video thank you for watching